Hello everyone, this is Punon from the Punon Bros, and today I have a mod spotlight for you. So I am doing the Traveling House mod, because I think this is really awesome. You guys are going to freak out when you see this. So, I spawned right over there, and I thought that I would move this temple, because it was right here. Every time I make a world for a spotlight, it always knows. So, here are the crafting recipes. So, for the house packer, which is what you're going to need, I'm going to take that. You're going to need one, four lapis on the side middles, the one gold ingot in the middle, and four iron ingots on the corners. This. And then you're going to need to make a blueprint. So that's one lapis and one paper. Hey, wait. Lapis actually has a meaning now. Hey. So, now we're going to make corner markers. Corner markers is what you're going to mark the corners of the house with. So, they're only one time use, so when you break them, they're done. It's five glass, making like sort of an X shape, and then four iron ingots on the outside. Now, you can also make the advanced corner marker, which it is a unlimited time use. It if you break it, it's a block, so it comes back to you. And it's pretty expensive, though. It needs a corner marker in the middle, four gold ingots on the outside, and four diamonds on the side middles. So, let's start... Ooh, let's turn it to day. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, too many items. Also. It's awesome. Mm. Who are you? I hate Enderman. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to go down a little bit, like right there. Put the house right there. Now, I am going to go this way. Take some of that. This is how many blocks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, I need 11 blocks. And then I'm going to go straight this way. Right here. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now we're going to put the corner marker there. His head's all marked and stuff. We'll break these blocks. Okay, and when I take the blueprint, and I right-click there, yes, it takes it and puts it into this blueprint scheme. Now, if I just want to put it back, I can right-click on there, and there's the temple. Once again, there's the temple with everything in it, except for the chest. So... I am going to now go to different places and say where you can do it. Okay, so I'm underwater, and I'm going to do it here. BAM! BAM! Oh my god, it's a temple underwater. If you go inside, it's here also. That's amazing. So now we have a temple underwater. The magical temple of underwaterness. Okay, next location. And finally the nether. Hi. No. Oh. Well. Well then. Okay. And now we have the uh, lava pyramid. Pyramid of lava. And now we have what? Oh, what? And now we have mine shaft pyramid. Okay. Entrance. Mine shaft pyramid. Ooh.
Let's look around. Okay, so it also works with entities. So like cows and stuff. Oh, just let me get a blueprint. You could teleport literally anything. So let me do that. Oop, they're all gone. Okay. Get rid of that stuff. And I am going to go somewhere else. In a tree. Go to a tree. I've always wanted to go in a tree. Trees. Okay, so right here. Right there. And cows! See? It's amazing. It makes so many cows. So many cows. Oh, apparently that works also. What? What? Flying cows. Well, this is your uh, mob launcher of the week. <laughs> mob launcher of the week, right here. Uh, yes. Just watch that from up here. And see you guys next time. This is Panone signing off. See you later.